Hello and welcome to Yarn Down Make Along with Emma. Today we're going to have a look at the hug pattern, um, which was a new pattern for the show this year. And it's a celebration of our co wonderful collection of yarns, our five different colourways of West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4-ply. And each hug uses five balls in total and it'd be unique because you change um, change yarn at the end of every line. So up to you which one which one you go for i put them in a bag and do a bit of a lucky dip and pull one out and um, if you've been crocheting for years or you've just learned to crochet then this really is a perfect project um, it's a really simple pattern easy to pick up the tricky bit i'm going to talk through this morning and show you at the beginnings and the ends of the rows but as long as you get those beginnings and ends the same each time and follow the pattern then it will it'll be perfect um, the size by the time you've finished it's about just over a metre so 110 centimetres by 120 so it's perfect for popping on your lap or around your shoulders to keep you warm and give you a hug two kits so 10 balls of wool would actually make a single bed size blanket which would go over your bed if you wanted to make one that was a little bit bigger so the pattern starts with Quite a, very, quite a long chain. I mean, it's more than 200 is the chain at the beginning. So I'm not going to start by chaining more than 200 and, and letting you watch that. Um, but I will do a short chain to start with. So what do we need for the pattern? So um, you've got your pattern. You've got five balls of, of wool. You can use any sock wool if you want, but it, it won't then be the yarn tail hug. It will be a, a different kind of hug. But I love how self-striping sock yarn has so many different colours in it. So it's a great way to get lots of colours together. So I've got five balls of wool. We've got Hope, Barbara, Nigel, Maud and Tristan. Um, I've got a three millimetre hook. And some scissors for snipping those ends and a darning needle. Now, the one thing about this project, you change um, yarn at the end of every row. I suggest sewing in those ends as you go because two ends when you've done a whole row of crochet is not very much. If you leave it for several rows, it's quite a lot to sew in and it can get a bit tedious. So I suggest sewing, sew as you go, sew as you go, and then you don't end up with a whole lot of ends to do um, when really you just want to finish it off. OK, so finishing it off quickly, you can just do the border. OK, so the pattern is a simple I say simple it is simple it, you know if you've been crocheting for a long time it is simple if you just started crocheting it's not difficult because it's using chains and it's using trebles and they're UK ones um, so it is simple to start with and not too troublesome um, so we're going to start to make a little diddy one like I've made here okay and then you'll see how the pattern goes OK, so I'm just going to chain. I'm going to start with, I'm going to use Barbara to start with, just because that's to hand. And I'm going to chain 17 as a start, just to go. So I'm not very good at counting and crocheting. Right, OK, there we go. So I've got my 17. Now the pattern says, so when you've done your, your chain, and obviously if you make a natural hug, it's much, much bigger. But sometimes it's good to make a little one just so that you get the hang of the pattern and see what you're doing. And then and then you don't make a big mistake um, on, on the big thing and then have to pull it back. So the first row, OK, you're going to work back along the chain. I'm going to work into those chains and I'm going to do a treble into the third chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three. So I'm going to do a treble into that chain. And then it says to miss two of my chains, my starting chain. OK, so that's one, two. And I'm going to work three trebles into the next chain. So you work groups or clusters of three trebles into the chain. Your starting chain this is probably the fiddliest bit okay so that's three then I miss another two chains and I do three trebles into that all the way along so 
okay another these two just check where I'm going okay into there so once you get going this is a, it's a really lovely pattern I really enjoyed making my hug made it on several car journeys made it in Cornwall made it in the garden and I'm looking forward to the cooler weather when I can use it so that's the last group of three okay so we've just got two chains left on there and the pattern says to work two trebles into the last chain so that's one two pull the yarn through and snip it off okay so we're then that's the right side and i'm going to turn it over so that we're working on the wrong side okay and we're going to join another ball of wool into the top of that last treble that we did so that very last stitch so into the top so i'll put my hook in first and then i'll get my wool i'll use hope next because it's coming up yellow so that will stand out nice against the the dark dark maroony color okay so this row two we join it with a slip stitch okay and then it says to chain four okay so in the chain four one two three four and then i'm going to work three trebles into this space here so one two three and then between each group of trebles for the rest of the blanket you do a chain just so you've got space and it makes it nice and light then so three trebles into the next space space and a chain. Three trebles into the next space. And it's changing colour. Look, this is what's so lovely about this. You just get another colour and it's like, oh, I like those colour combos. Three trebles into the next. And a chain. Three trebles into that last space there. One chain and then we finish by doing one treble into the top of the last stitch of the previous row. And you get a lovely straight edge if you if you go into the top of the stitch rather than the space. Okay pull through to fasten off and snip it off. Now I'm not taking my own advice here and sewing my ends in as I go, which I should be, but you don't need to see me sew it. Sew the ends in, weave them in and out. It's good to go backwards and forwards. I go one direction and then back in the other direction. Right, so now we're on to row three of the pattern. So okay, so we join into the top of the stitch. So I'll put my hook in there first. Get a nice straight edge if we join the top of the stitches. I'm going to go for Tristan next. So row three, so start with a slip stitch and then chain three. One, two, three. On this row, we do a treble into that, that first space. Then chain one. Three trebles into the space, all the way along, separating your groups of three trebles with one chain. All the way along until we get to the end. 
this mini blanket. It's like a Sylvanian's blanket. I do find something to do with it. So we got to the last space there. And I've done one treble into that space. Okay, and then I'm going to do one treble into the top of that stitch, pull through to fasten off. So if you look at the rows, how they go. So you've got your, your row two starts with a chain four. So it's like a single, single treble that counts as a treble. Then your row three has got two at the beginning. So we turn for our next row, okay? We join into the top. And from now on, they're alternate rows. So, so we had like a, we had a, a two and a one, a two. So this is just a one treble at the beginning, okay? So I join in my yarn with a slip stitch and the pattern is chain four and you just alternate between your rows two and three all the way until you've finished all your balls of wool. And then we join into here with our three trebles and then a chain one so you can see have a look here. You can see you've got your two, your one, your two, your one, and it'll be two and a one. Okay, and you get a nice straight edge. And the way to keep that straight edge, as I said, is to work into the tops of the actual stitches, not into the spaces between. Actually, work into those stitches, and you'll end up with a lovely edge to your um, to your hug. Okay. So basically, if you had two at the end, the 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 um the row before, then it's a one. So it's a one, two, one, two, one, two. Just keep going with your one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, and you'll end up with nice straight edges. You've got all the way to the end of your balls of wool. Let's move all these out of the way. You've sewn all your ends in as you've gone along. And you end up with all these beautiful stripes. Okay, um, in the um, kit, there's enough yarn in nutmeg to do a simple double crochet border around the edge. You can do any kind of border you want, but I think a simple because there are so many colours and it's so beautiful. Just a simple colour around the edge pick, picks out the oranges and, and the warm colours in the blanket, in the hug, and um, just finishes it off nicely. And it's really simple. It doesn't need anything complicated. Um, and that is your Yarndale hug. So really is just a whole lot of soothing trebles um, and I hope you enjoy doing it and I hope you enjoy snuggling up under it when it comes to um, those horrible dark nights that seem to come very quickly. Um, but there's always a silver lining with the dark nights. That's plenty of time for um, doing a little bit of making. Anyhow, happy hug making. <laughs>